the gospel reflection of the day from the congregation of the Daughters of St. Paul. As the day begins, listen, reflect and live the word of God, the best food ever for the soul. Hello and welcome to today's reflection, Wednesday, 24th January 2024. Today, Mother Church celebrates the memorial of St. Francis de Sales, Bishop and Doctor of the Church. Francis was born in France in 1567 during the difficult decade following the Protestant Reformation. Later, he was appointed Bishop of Geneva, Switzerland, a center of Calvinism. He helped the Christian community to be strong in the faith while relating well with the Protestants. He wrote many books on spirituality and preached tirelessly and ministered to the needy. Today we will reflect on the theme, Seeds Sown in Our Hearts. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark chapter 4 verses 1 to 20. At that time, again, Jesus began to teach beside the sea, and a very large crowd gathered around him, so that he got into a boat and sat in it on the sea, and the whole crowd was beside the sea on the land. And in his teaching, he said to them, Listen, a sower went out to sow, and as he sowed, some seed fell along the path, and the birds came and devoured it. Other seed fell on rocky ground where it had not much soil, and immediately it sprang up since it had no depth of soil. And when the sun rose, it was scorched, and since it had no root, it withered away. Other seed fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it, and it yielded no grain. And other seed fell into good soil and brought forth grain, growing up and increasing and yielding thirtyfold and sixtyfold and a hundredfold. The Gospel of the Lord. The seed is the word of God. God has been sowing his sacred word in human hearts all through history. God's word has a mysterious power and it has never lost that power. But the word, the seed without rich soil in which to take root is sterile. So today's parable is more about soil than about seed. It is about us, about the kind of soil that we are about our receptivity to the seed. It is also about fertilizer, without which even good soil become fruitless. The traditional fertilizer is prayer and self-denial. None of our Lord's parables so challenges us as this one. Sincerity demands that we ask ourselves about hardness of heart, about superficiality, about cares and pleasures and unlawful desires. In a word, how receptive are we as individuals and as a family to God's word? Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, we come before you with gratitude for the gift of your word. We ask you to send your Holy Spirit to inflame our hearts so that we may be open to your word and that it may bear abundant fruit in our hearts and in our lives. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise be Jesus Christ.
You've been listening to the Gospel Reflection for today from the Congregation of the Daughters of St. Paul. Remember to listen, reflect and live the Word of God, the best food ever for this world.